Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. In this series of videos, we're looking at some of the new and updated effects that come with Studio One 5. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the new version of Auto Filter. Now, we're gonna be using the same guitar part as what we used in the chorus video, as I really think it shows off this plugin. So let's have a quick listen to the guitar part again with the plugin in Bypass. Right, let's bring it in. Okay, so pretty much so far it's the same as before, but what we've got are two different filters here. So I can bring in the analog SVF12 here and say like another one, let's bring in the MG24. Now we've also got this parallel and chain mode. This is what parallel sounds like. And let's bring in chained. So that's two filters going into each other. Let's switch it back to parallel and let's play with the actual filters here. You can automate all of these parameters in Studio One, which makes it even better. Let's turn the resonance up. Right, next we've got the LFO speed. We can either sync that to our project tempo or we can switch it off and actually choose the speed here. Now we've got different types of LFOs, let's try those. the square. Now one of my favourites is this. Now let's try this and let's speed it up. And let's sync it. Because they're using their state space modelling, they've really enhanced the drive. Right, let's bring it back to the sine wave. And now let's try some of the presets. Now I really feel the bass line is really enhancing this guitar part, so let's just leave it on that. And let's try that in the track. So now that's giving that guitar part some movement, which I really think works in this track. I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. I hope you guys got something out of that and I'll see you next time. Cheers.